Hello book nerds, welcome to Bookshelf Bunny. I'm Kim and today I will take you on a bookshelf tour. Hey guys! So if you were following my spring videos, you know that I did sort of a big spring overhaul, cleaning up all of my books and organizing them and just trying to create some order to my chaos. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to wrap that all up and take you on a tour of the official finished project. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, so we're gonna start here with Comic Book Central. And I sort of organized some of my favorite fandoms up here, my manga, my labyrinth obsession. I have all these really great labyrinth mangas right over here. Some figurines. Oh, Jareth, you're backwards. Come on, Jareth, shape up. There's our Goblin King hanging out. More Goblin King. Over here we've got some Sailor Moon. Over here we've got some Death Note and Naruto. And here is our lovely Harley Quinn and Joker. Do not mind this basket. On this, this is my COVID station. We've got some sanitizer, some face masks. Yes, hopefully that will all be done with soon. Down here, moving down, we have some fabulous graphic novels. Everything from Harley Quinn and Ivy, to Harley Quinn, to Joker, to the Sandman. We've got some Ash versus the Army of Darkness in here. We've got some Buffy. Then along here, we have some miscellaneous comics. I love Sarah's Scribbles. Got some Snoopy, got lots of Garfield. Those are my husband's. And down here are just some various single comics that I've picked up through the years, including Free Comic Book Day. Moving along, I sort of went with um, general fiction on this shelf. So we've got Ken Follett. Crazy Rich Asian series. Book of Negroes. Moving along. I love Margaret Atwood. She's great. Over here we've sort of got more classics, literature, that type of thing. And then we have all the book sleeves. I love book sleeves. So up here, sorry for the bright lights. Oh look, sewing thread, that's great. Over here I've got some Harry Potter and some Goosebumps. Huge Goosebumps fan. And this little series here, My Babysitter is a Vampire, one of my childhood favorites. That's sort of what this grouping is. Then we'll just swing on over to my main bookshelf. Don't mind the COVID rapid test, my husband's a nurse. So this is sort of in conjunction with where my bunnies like to hang out. So it's all blocked off. And there's a table there to further prevent bunny damage. So don't mind this, looks like I have children. That's bunnies, <laughs> bunny stuff everywhere. So we'll start with the top and work our way down. First of all, up here, hello Sailor Moon and various nerdy celeb encounters. Okay, top shelf. We've got a lot of fantasy and sci-fi. That's basically what this whole shelf is. This series for the record is so good. Some more miscellaneous fantasy. Green Rider series, so good. Ah yes, The Witcher series. My goal in life this year is to finish it. Mm 
we've got more fantasy down here. And a truck. <laughs> Okay, so now this is where it gets tricky because this table sort of blocks things. <laughs> but down here we've got some memoirs, self-help type books. And we've got some miscellaneous seasonal items there, chicken soup for the soul. Some more literature. I really enjoy folk tales and mythology. So we've got some folk tales and mythology. There's some more seasonal stuff, a bunch of Christmas books. These guys are probably some of my favorite books on the shelf here. Bridge Terabithia was attacked by a bunny once, as you can tell. <laughs> We've got the Left Behind series, sort of a fantasy take on the Christian version of the uh, rapture and everything that would happen potentially after. Okay, this is blocked by a fence and I hope you can see this okay, but <laughs> there's the fence. Here we have a lot of educational stuff, I guess. <laughs> Hobby items. And then we've got some more self-help type books, a lot of books about faith and religion. Some of these are mine, some of these are my husband's. Down here, it's really sort of an odds and ends world. Uh, we've got a couple more random books. We've got a Bible, we've got some more educational stuff, some Mennonite culture stuff, and kids book. That's what lives on this big old shelf. Now we'll just spin around to some horror stuff. Look, it's my husband and I. On this shelf, I've got some of my horror books. Most of them I tried to consolidate in my spare room, but what I couldn't fit in there, I put on this little shelf. Kind of see in there, horror and thriller, sort of what I was going for here. This series, this zombie series, is something else, I tell ya. It is not what you would expect. It sort of goes all over the place. Really good read if you get a chance. It will keep you guessing. Okay, now we're gonna go into my spare room. This room is sort of a combination of all of my hobbies, where I like to write, where I do my filming. It's sort of the one place where my bunnies are not allowed. <laughs> so we'll go on in here. I've actually been working on organizing this room as well as I go. So, first, Sorry, stepping over the gate. I wanted to show you the super cute reading pillows that I got on the bed in the spare room. I'm actually expecting one more, but I don't know if it's gonna come. So cute. Okay, onto the books. Oh yes, latch hook that my mama made me when I was a little kid as a bunny. It's clearly a sign. I was meant to have bunnies. A slightly chaotic desk. So we're gonna start here. First I wanna show you, Alice in Wonderland clock. Probably the best thing I love so much. Okay, okay, so these shelves are new. I got these very recently, these cube shelves. I love them. They fit along this really awkward wall where it's sort of an angle. And in here, these are books that I've recently read or borrowed or need to finish reading. Anxious People from Diamond and a Little Geek, a Little Chic. And Rose Matter was a borrow from a coworker. I still have to return that. I suck at life. Okay, in here. I've got books on writing that live in this little place here. I wanted to keep them close to my desk, but also sort of tucked away so it looks neat. <laughs> and then behind the door is where my horror shelf lives. My big horror shelf. I mean, it's not big, but you know. Got a fabulous comic book poster, bookshelf bunny t-shirt, bookshelf bunny treat jar from my mama-in-law. Here's the horror books. 
all oh, Stephen King, I have so many. And I don't even have half of what's out there. I need more. More Stephen King. Little Buffy figurines. I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer, guys. Obsessed. Buffy Cup O bookmarks. And down here are some more horror books. Not necessarily Stephen King, but there are miscellaneous items. And this isn't horror, but this is really the best little space for them. I have these Best Beloved Reader's Digest books. You might have seen them feature in some of my other videos. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my semi-less chaotic bookshelves. Do you guys have any thoughts or advice on things I could maybe do in the future to tidy it up and kind of make it more cohesive? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. That's it for me. And as always, happy reading.